And now we're finally going to explain what is opening balance equity. Opening balance equity is an account that's only used by the computer. It's not an account that you will see mentioned in a college accounting textbook. It is simply the difference between the debit balances and credit balances in the general ledger of a company who's starting to use QuickBooks. It should be the same as the total owner's equity of the company before QuickBooks. After inputting all of the other account balances, opening balance equity should be adjusted with journal entries to distribute the owner's equity to the owner's capital account. For example, let's imagine that this is a trial balance of a company that is just beginning to use QuickBooks. Notice there are only five account balances with five accounts in the chart of accounts listed here and we did not include any of the owner's equity accounts. That's because as you start setting up the file, QuickBooks will create the opening balance equity account as you put in the beginning balances. Well, how much should the opening balance equity be after we put in the beginning balances? Well, it's very simple. The opening balance equity should be the difference between the debits and the credits. Whatever that difference is, that's how much opening balance equity should be, and that's what QuickBooks will put as you uh, put in the beginning balances. QuickBooks adds value to opening balance equity when you input beginning balances one by one. So as we put in these balances one by one, opening balance equity will get bigger and bigger and when we're finished putting in the other five opening balances that means that opening balance equity will finish at exactly twenty thousand now this is the chart of accounts that I have created for this example company notice the accounts listed in capital letters are the five accounts that we had in our in our example that I showed a minute ago one two three four five and the other accounts in lowercase are the accounts that QuickBooks automatically put in the chart of accounts for industry type I chose other none but when it came to the company type I chose partnership so that you can see how we would distribute the opening balance equity after we put in the beginning balances it's very simple to put in the beginning balance. Choose the account, click Edit Account, and down here, click Enter Opening Balance. Now, I happen to remember that the cash and bank opening balance is $10,000. And statement ending date, I think that's the date that you're actually beginning to use QuickBooks. So let's imagine it's June 1. Now, after I click OK and click Save and Close, you can see the computer put $10,000 in the bank account, as I mentioned, but it also made the balance of opening balance equity $10,000. And you can confirm this by opening up the trial balance. Let's put in supplies. Account, edit account, enter opening balance. I believe supplies were $2,000. So we'll put here 2000 for supplies. As of June 1, the date we're switching over to QuickBooks, can you guess what the balance of opening balance equity will be after we save this? That's right, 12000 because we put 10000 in cash and 2000 in supplies, and again, the trial balance confirms all the numbers. What's the third number? Equipment, 28000 Click on Equipment, Account, Edit, Opening Balance, 28000 thousand as of June 1. Click OK, save and close. Now opening balance equity has 40,000. Wow, it looks like it's getting bigger. However, there are two liabilities that we have to put. Let's put for accounts payable, edit, 
Opening balance, I believe it was 5,000. Yes, it was 5,000. As of the date we switched to QuickBooks, which in this case is June 1, notice opening balance equity decreased because we added the balance of a liability. Now, all we have to do is add the bank loan for 15,000. Bank loan, edit, opening balance. 15,000 as of the conversion date, which is June 1. And now the opening balance equity is exactly as what we expected it to be, 20,000. And again, we can confirm that by opening up the trial balance. Now we will do the last step in the setup by distributing the opening balance equity to the partners. And we'll do this by making a journal entry should be very simple because opening balance equity is a very round number. So we click company make journal entry and the date of the journal entry should be the date of the conversion which in this example is June 1. Now we're going to debit opening balance equity for half the amount and we're going to credit the first partner's capital, partner one equity. Okay, now save and new and do the same thing. We again debit opening balance equity and we credit partner two's equity and save and close. Now you can see from the trial balance opening balance equity is zero because the equity has been distributed to the individual partner's accounts.